Dee, I took a lot by you, Princess Ugo. Hello, hello, ciao, ciao. Yes, this is your sweet and sound and intelligent Princess Ilka. And uh, let me talk about the cousins. In the foundation, Asas had stopped paying, and I was still organizing events to justify my stay and the project. To integrate people into the humanity of mankind, to be independent, to be self assured and self aware, to become well-functioning citizens, that was the aim, Erich Fromm. He is not a writer, Erich Fromm is a social consciousness psychologist who also has geographical notions about the demographies and their needs, not making it very complicated. The essence is what had been brought up. I was also finishing my studies in international relationships, Relaciones Internacionales, at La University, at the University in Mexico City. So I was jobbing here and there. My cousin came, gave me a call and said, I, I want you to work for me. Okay. He said, this is the job and this is the money. So I worked for him. Considering he was my cousin, I did not deem to make a paper out of this. So I worked four months for him, for which he offered me $2,000. Exactly the amount I needed to liquid, liquidate my university debts, which are, uh, were now accumulating. I had no time to spare. I had no time to take risks. And I don't know anything about business at the time. So it was the job and I did the job. I spent my entire time to work for him. When the time came that he was supposed to visit now, he canceled, he said, well, no, it's off. I said, okay, but I, I oh, sorry. But I have, um, I put my job on the line. I put my face on the line. I put my reputation on the line for him being my cousin. Now he says it's off. It's not that I could just stop working for him. That was the, the time he should have paid. And he said, there is no money. And he turned it all around in a different direction. I could not stop working for him because my face was on the line. It is all about relationships in Mexico. So I had to go now and had to excuse him with all the people he had asked me previously to make contact with. So I had to continue working for him, although he did not pay. And for future references, to leave a good image of a professional person. What he put out was so de million away outrageous that I as a good person gave him a chance. And again, I gave him a chance to redeem his mistake. We're talking $2,000 here. He had a very, very large company at the time I gave him the other chance. He was independent. He had many workers and it would have cost him nothing. He also financially supported his sister, Yanya, my cousin Yanya. Andre never gave me the money and wiggled himself out of the affair like he usually did. My, my cousin Yanya, his sister, talked to me about. Now, I'd say same as their father, because after I left and went to Mexico, they went to Nicaragua and Panama, and my uncle went to El Salvador, because there had been a revolution. So my uncle said, oh, I'm gonna go and help now. Now with the help, when Yanya thought she had to go now, and she just missed a little bit her friends. She wanted to have a little trip. I think I would never do, I never did in my life I asked the family for anything, nothing. Not even a shelter when Ugly was horrible with me. Nothing I asked. Nobody had any request from me ever. But she now asked the entire family. And under the vision of, oh my God, I'm helping the third world right now, everybody gave her money, my family included.
my uncle, I met him last time I saw him at my grandmother's house. He had lived already for two years in Salvador to help the underdeveloped countries. Issue is that he made a lot of profit as he was over there and did not spoke Spanish. Two years in Central America and did not spoke Spanish but made profit. You tell me what that is. These are not people you can trust or rely on. That is for sure. Now this is what I clarified. I can get now into details. My cousin, when I asked him to pay, he, talked to, he said that I had agreed to become a business partner in a business I have no clue about. I don't even know the product. As of today, I don't know the product. I know a general generic name, but I do know that there's very many different ones. It goes from a 200 thing to a, I don't know, $20,000 thing. I don't know what it is he wanted to bring in. That was not my job. It was a deluxe item, a luxurious item for saying the least, because in Mexico, no one uses those. Uh, it's only for elite. And I don't know what type of product he was bringing in because he never told me. I don't know which class it was. It could have been that he intended to deliver a Mercedes-Benz to the African Biafra children because I don't know what product he had. And it could have been that he brought Italian Vespas to Mexico City where there is no place you can travel in, in that type of vehicle because you're gonna be killed. It's dangerous. So it could have been other things. I had a friend. Yeah, well, did I make the friend? Who sold those things? So maybe there was a market. But I don't know. I would not bet on that type of item unless I make a marketing research. I made research even for buying a pair of tires. Yantas for my car. Before I do anything, I make research. It's so extensive. It's not worth to describe how extensive my research is. So it's no point of arguing with Andre because he denied and that's all he could ever do. But if you look into my history, there's no way in the whole wide world I, 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 I was not in possibilities at the time to accept a risky business with whom I no clue about, not even if I trust the person, because I needed money. I had no time to invest, not even my time. Because of it, I could never liquidate the debt at the university because he never paid me. So that time went wasted. This is Princess Ilke, the Aita Colacho. So, my cousin Yanya and my cousin Andre, they are brothers and sisters. My age, I left to Mexico, then Yanya went to Nicaragua. And she said she wanted to help the Nicaraguenses to be independent and autonomous people who live free. After that, my cousin went to Panama and said the same. He studied Ingeniería Forestal to help the people to be independent, autonomous and to be free. Then Yanya got the antojos, got the manches. She wanted to go travel to Europe. So she asked the family to help. So my family gave her the money to go over to Europe to pay for her trip. My cousin Andre contacted me in Mexico and he said I need you to help me I need you to work with me can you work for me sure tell me what you need so this is the job he said and this is the money I'm gonna pay you okay so I took all my time I worked a month for him and by the time it was time to for him to actually take all the stuff I had made up for prepared for him he called me, said, oh no, the trip is off. So, and the money? He said, what money? He wiggled himself out of the affair, telling me that he had some kind of, that he had made an agreement with me about something which I have no clue about. I don't even know the product and I have no medium to actually go and have a partnership with stuff I don't know about. I told Yanya and Yanya said, are you crazy? You should not make business with my brother. He is a cheat. He is a scam. By the way, following probably his steps of the father. So these are not people you can rely on, just letting you know. My cousin Yanya, she offered 
in the wordings from which she took the money from the family that she was helping people in the third world. So what she was actually doing is taking husbands away from their wives by fucking them. She told me herself proudly as she came to visit me once. She also had relationships with business entrepreneurs to gain favors. Which of course, who gives a shit what relationships she has with whom, but married men on purpose. Very proudly she announced that she was better than the wives who were sitting in their houses with children. What kind of aid is that? She clearly depicted herself that she had no clue about the mentality and the nationality of the country she now abused as she came to visit me. She had no idea who the people were, what they were thinking, how the system was working. She had no interest in the people whatsoever. And again, proudly announced how she was smarter and that she could el eliminate families and diminish women with children and break up homes because she was so cool. So that is Yanya. <laughs>